in this video we introduce and discuss about two important functions governing the rotational flow so while discussing about different types of flow or the classification of flow we have seen rotational flow as well as irrotational flow so in simple sentence rotational flow or in a rotational flow the fluid particles rotate about their mass centers and we have derived the equations for uh, the rotation vector along three cartesian coordinates omega x omega y and omega z and now uh, we will continue our discussion on uh, rotational flow here we introduce two functions one is circulation other one is vorticity and these two are uh, two primary measures of rotation in a fluid along with the rotation vector omega x omega y and omega s z or which already we have discussed okay then uh, we'll start from uh, with circulation so what is meant by circulation uh, it has got its mathematical uh, interpretation and also it has got its own physical meaning also see generally if you take uh, any flow the fluid particles that undergoes translation that is linear movement from one location to another location then uh, if it is a rotational flow it has got a rotation about its mass centers sometimes uh, it may suffer it may i uh, mean subjected to deformation shear deformation or linear deformation or linear strain and shear strain etc so if we consider a rotational flow the fluid particles are generally subjected to translation rotation and deformation so it is a complex case so analyze a rotational flow it is a complex case because fluid particles are subjected to these uh, many types of uh, motions translation rotation deformation etc so let us see how these two functions circulation and vorticity can be used to better describe a rotational flow okay so we'll start with the, the mathematical definition of uh, circulation it is defined as uh, it is actually represented by simple c or capital to uh, about a closed contour in a flow field it is defined as the line integral evaluated along the component of velocity vector that is log locally tangent to the contour so we'll explain it it is a little bit difficult to understand from this description but once we describe it more you will be in a better position to understand this so there is an important term there it is a measure of rotation so you should understand that circulation is always a measure of uh, rotation so you can better describe and demonstrate it by considering a closed contour in a flow field in solid boundary region so to take a closed contour so it's we have a flow domain or a flow field existing so for just for the analysis purpose or for better describing what is meant by circulation and vorticity we are considering a closed contour so this is the closed contour we have considered just for the analysis okay that is represented here so this contour may be of any shape may be circular or any other arbitrary shape so this is an arbitrary shape you suppose and of course the flow domains or the flow field consists of several streamlines which are representing the pattern of flow and suppose we represent streamlines like this so these are all uh, streamlines four streamlines i have represented for uh, just for representing i mean the set of streamlines and you know that on each streamline you have got a uh, fluid particle and the velocity vector of the fluid particle at a particular point is along the tangent to the streamline at that point so if you consider a particle there which is occupying this particular position it is represented here it is occupying this position so what about the velocity suppose the velocity of that particular particle is u and that will be along the tangent to the streamline tangent to the streamline as shown so this is u so u represents the velocity of the fluid particle okay so you can resolve this u in the different directions okay and suppose we are trying to resolve this u along the contour okay so or along the tangent to the contour so 
what will be its resolved component so that is shown as u cos alpha so what is u cos alpha u cos alpha is the resolved component of u along the tangent to the contour okay this angle angle between the contour tangent and the direction of velocity vector u it is alpha so you have u cos alpha which is a resolved component of the velocity of the fluid particle which is occupying this particular position along the rotation contour or along the tangent to the rotation contour so if we have large number of particles you can identify on this contour so each of these particle will be having such component velocities u cos alpha or depending upon the angle made by the velocity vector with respect to the tangent to the contour or the contour tangent so this you see the definition now it is defined as the line integral of the velocity vector that is locally tangent to the contour so it is a line integral of u cos alpha along the tangent along the contour so how do we represent this this is c circulation it is the integral u dl or u cos alpha into dl so what is this dl dl is the incremental space or incremental position or incremental distance occupied the by the particular fluid particle so throughout the contour you can identify the product of u cos alpha into dl you can take dl or uh, position can be represented by the incremental um terminology ds u cos alpha into ds or u cos alpha into dl you can take so it is a summation of the product of u cos alpha into dl along the entire contour so that is why it is termed as an integral line integral okay so that is a mathematical representation okay so in brief it is a summation of the line integral of the tangent velocity vector along the rotation contour that we consider for the analysis and now you see this figure so this clearly represent what is meant by rotation so here you have uh, uh, a particle you can represent the particle as a rectangle a same particle here so we first take this case here there is translation but no rotation you see this a particle a it is having the another position at c but it does not undergo any rotation only translation so this is an irrotational flow we know that but if there is rotation see the particle a it is rotated about its mass centers okay you can see this from the two shapes you can see that particle a has undergone a rotation so this is a rotational flow so that is for so you have a clockwise rotation here this is for uh, for more clarity about what is meant by rotational flow or irrotational flow so this is an example of rotational flow in the anti clockwise direction the particle is rotating in the anti clockwise direction about its mass centers you see this, this is the initial position it reaches here so this clearly represent uh, the rotational flow and again uh, we are considering the circulation function and now what is the physical meaning of circulation so so far we have seen it is a line integral of uh, tangent uh, velocity component along the rotation contour so that is a mathematical representation so what is the physical meaning of circulation so it is given here it is the amount of force that pushes fluid along a closed boundary or path so it is a force so in order to have a particular particle or any object traversing a rotational motion or in order to have a rotational motion there should be a driving force there should be a force that makes the body or that makes the fluid particle in rotation okay that force is circulation so it is actually a macroscopic concept okay it is a concept which can be described over a particular area of flow it is a macroscopic concept which can be described over a particular area of flow and that is making the rotational flow happens so that is the amount of force that actually pushing or tends to push the fluid particles to rotate to move along a rotational path and here we'll uh, define one more term along with this along the circulation we'll define vorticity 
vorticity so that is given here and we'll uh, define the corresponding equations for both circulation and vorticity in terms of cartesian component system coordinate system so vorticity is what is vorticity the physical meaning is it is a tendency of the fluid particle to spin or tendency of the elements of fluid to spin so you should be able to clearly distinguish between these two so one is the force that is making the fluid particles to traverse a rotary path the other one is that is vorticity is the tendency of the fluid particles to spin or tendency of the fluid particle to rotate so both are interrelated so vorticity can be related to the amount of circulation in a fluid and how do we arrive at a relation between vorticity and circulation and also the respective equations in terms of cartesian coordinate system let us see so for uh, analysis uh, we are taking circulation around a rectangular element so we consider the fluid element as a rectangular 2d rectangular shaped element we consider so this is the x axis and y axis so it is x y plane we have represented and on this x y plane you have a fluid element so we are actually showing a magnified view of the fluid element here a two dimensional fluid element we have considered in the previous slide we are taking a magnified view so how it can be represented so this is a fluid element represented so its length or its dimension along x axis is delta x and that along y axis is delta y so it is having delta x and delta y as a incremental distance you can say okay then along x axis as well as along y axis it has got velocities and suppose u and v are the velocities along x axis and y axis or in the direction x axis or in the direction y axis so remember this is rotation so each of these four faces you can say each of these four sides because this is a two dimensional element so this fluid particle it is rotating during the course of flow so when it is rotating all these four sides will be having its own velocities okay so the bottom side is at a velocity u already we have said and the left hand side is at a velocity v already we have indicated then what about the velocity along these two axes or what about the velocity of these two sides the upper side and the right hand side it is upper side u plus do u by do y into delta y so how to get that lower velocity is u and this distance is delta y so it is the incremental distance you take u plus do u by do y into delta y so that is a the theorem in mathematics similarly what is the velocity at the right hand side of this rectangular fluid element v which is increased over the incremental distance delta x so you can represent it as v plus do v by do x into delta x so you should know this so u it is a lower side velocity and that is increasing or that is changing over the infinitesimally small length delta y so how can you represent it is u plus do u by do y into delta y similarly v plus do v by do x into delta x so, so that is basic mathematics so here you see all these four sides are having velocities different velocities obviously since all these four sides are having different velocities you can say that there is a rotation for the this particular fluid particle during the course of flow and now we take uh, we consider the definition of circulation what is the definition of circulation the integral line integral over u cos alpha into dl or it is a product of the velocity and the incremental distance so how can you represent it as it okay we'll see this it is the vorticity sorry it is the uh, rotation so how to represent this so what is the rotation of the lower side you can represent as u into delta x as per the definition of circulation velocity into distance u into delta x so what about this side v plus do v by do x or v plus do v by do x into delta x that is a velocity into this side length that is delta v okay it is represented here what about the top velocity top side velocity 
u plus dou u by dou y into delta y into the length of the top side that is delta x that is given here u plus dou u by dou y into delta y into delta x similarly for the other side v into the side length delta y so generally you take positive for anti clockwise rotation so you see this it is anti clockwise you see the direction of velocity it is anti clockwise here this velocity is making a clockwise it is tending for a clockwise rotation this vel this velocity is also making or tending for a clockwise rotation so generally for the analysis you take the anti clockwise rotation tendency as positive and the clockwise rotation tendency as negative so you have the approximate sign here negative here also negative other two are positive so you can simplify this equation because u delta x is here here also you have a u delta x that cancels off similarly here you have a v delta y so here is a v delta y that cancels off so you are getting circulation as dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y into delta y so this is a circulation it is a force that is making this rectangular fluid element to rotate along a circular path okay then we define the term vorticity so that is the tendency of that particular fluid particle to spin it is defined as circulation divided by area so that is a microscopic um parameter you can or microscopic function you can uh, mention that is vorticity it is represented like ohm symbol ohm it is equal to circulation divided by area so what is the area of this fluid element delta x into delta y that is product of the side length so this equation for circulation divided by delta x into delta y you will be getting dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y that is a vorticity okay so vorticity is a vector quantity and how to represent the vorticity vector along the three cartesian coordinate system it is ohm ohm x i plus ohm y j ohm z k is it k along the three directions then we had uh, defined uh, the rotation vector omega equal to omega xi plus omega yj plus omega zk so this rotation vector is a half of vorticity so that is a mathematical representation so it is a half so this vorticity vector divided by 2 will give you the rotation vector so we have uh, defined the two terms with reference to a rotational flow which is very difficult to analyze we have circulation we have seen the mathematical representation of circulation or how to estimate the circulation in a flow field and also we defined vorticity uh, that is again physical meaning we have just mentioned and how to estimate the vorticity in relation to circulation also we discussed then rotation also so in short circulation is actually a scalar quantity so it is as already i told it is a macroscopic measure of A rotation of a finite area of fluid that and particular contour rotation about that particular contour is measured by the circulation whereas vorticity is as a vector as i already told it is gives the macroscopic measure of rotation of single particles or macroscopic me microscopic measure of i am sorry microscopic measure of rotation of single or different fluid particles so with this clear understanding you should be able to do many problems related to circulation and vorticity during your examination so you should be able to um, describe circulation vorticity with respect to its physical meaning okay then you can read more on uh, rotational flow and get better understanding of the terms circulation and vorticity thank you